Hi, it's Andy from Soundcraft, and I'm going to show you the VI7000 local rack and um, particularly talk about how it differs from the VI6, which was the product that the VI7000 uh, succeeded. So the VI6 and the 7000 use a audio processing rack called the local rack, which um, can handle, in the 7000's case, up to 128 input channels, 32 stereo buses. The, the rack for the 7000 is basically very similar to the one that we use on the VI6. On the VI6 what we had is some DSP cards along the top. It would be three or four DSP cards on a typical VI6. And then on the bottom section of the local rack we would have various um, input-output cards. Now on the VI6 the, the limitation was that you had a maximum of 192 channels in and out on the bottom section of the rack. So we had um, 16 line in, 16 line out, uh, 16 AES EBU in and outs, and then we had only two MADI cards for stage boxes and that used up all of our 192 channels. With the VI7000 local rack, um, things are a bit different. What we've got is actually 384 channels on the bottom half of the rack, which is the I.O. section. So what we did to achieve that is we added another card called an HD card, which is the card which links um, from the upper DSP section down to the lower section. So on the VI6 there was only one HD card, on the 7000 there's two HD card cards, and so there were that we've got these extra Cat5 cables linking the two sections. And that gives us double the number of channels on the lower section of the I.O. rack. Because of that, we can, we can have more cards, but the, the restriction on the VI6 was also that all of the analog and AES cards took up all of the slots in the bottom of the rack. So the other difference on the VI7000 is that we, we've recreated the um, breakout box here into what we call the active breakout box. So all of our analog and line in, line outs, um, AES in and outs, are still on a breakout box very similar to the VI6. But on the 7000 here we have an active breakout box. And what this does is it means we use one Blue Link card, which is a 32 in, 32 out single width card in the rack here, which feeds this active breakout box. And that means we free up all of those other slots on the bottom of the I.O. rack for use with things like MADI cards, Dante cards, etc. So we still get our same complement of um, analog and digital I.O. that we had on the VI6, but we still then have many more slots free on the bottom of the rack. So on a typical VI7000 local rack like this one, what we've got on the bottom is a Dante card over here, so that's 64 in, 64 out on Dante. We've got up to two MADI cards here, they can be optical or Cat5. So that's another 64 channels per card. And then over on the right here, we've got another two MADI cards, which would normally be used for stage box connection. So that's another two sets of 64 channels in and out. And then finally in the middle here, we've got two cards which have to be fitted all the time. One of them feeds the breakout box, and the other one is a mic card, which feeds some of the microphone inputs at the bottom of the breakout box. So that, that, that way we get to use up all of our 384 input-output channels for things like stage boxes, Dante interfaces and so on. So the DSP section of the 7000 local rack has also been upgraded just by adding more DSP cards. So on the VI6 there was a maximum of four DSP cards up on this upper section. On the 7000 the standard rack comes fitted with five DSP cards, so one, two, three, four, five, plus the Lexicon FX card. Um, and plus here's the bridge card, which is the card which feeds into the control surface. Um, so we have five DSP cards, that allows us to do 128 input channels into 32 stereo buses. Uh, we can also get a further upgrade on that DSP count um, because we can have up to eight DSP cards altogether in that rack. So if we upgrade the DSP card count up to eight, which would be all of these slots fitted, with DSP cards, then we get the ability to run the, the rack at 96 kilohertz instead of just 48 kilohertz. And that allows us to get 64 inputs into 32 buses but running at 96 kilohertz. So 
final thing I want to talk about is what, what you could do if you, uh, for example, already have a VI6 and you wanted to upgrade it to a VI7000. Um, because the, the, the um, local racks are so similar, it is possible to upgrade a VI6 local rack to a VI7000 spec like this. And in order to upgrade to a 7000 console, you'd have to replace the surface, of course, with a VI7000 surface. But if you already have the VI6 local rack, you wouldn't necessarily need to um, buy a whole new local rack. You could upgrade your existing one. And the upgrade kit that we supply for that would include this active breakout box, and it would include the various cards that you would need to fit into your VI6 rack to, to convert it into a 7000. So that would be one or two extra DSP cards, it would be an extra HD link card, and it could be some more MADI cards and a Dante card if that's what you wanted. So that's the, um, the run through of what's different between the 7000 local rack and the VI6 local rack. Hope that's interesting. For more information, uh, look on the soundcroft.com website at the VI7000 product pages. Thanks for watching. Catch up with you soon.